Welcome back to Base Sunday, everyone. Our next guest is the founder and the president of Ignite, a nonprofit geared towards helping women in high school and college become more politically active and engaged in our democratic process. She is hoping to inspire our leaders of tomorrow. And I would imagine is beaming after the election, after so mm -hmm. many women moved into some powerful political chairs. Please welcome Ann Moses. How are you? I'm good, thank you. There are now 19 female senators. 20. 20? <laughs> really? Yes. I had 19. <laughs> Okay. Heidi Heitkamp, just one. Oh, did she really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I know Warner out in Massachusetts uh, uh -huh. took over. So, uh, well, that's going to make you happy, right? Yeah, very much so. Women did really well um, congressionally, um, both in the House and the Senate. Um, and that's been a lot to celebrate. Exactly. Um, well, tell us about Ignite, because it's all about getting women, younger women, politically active. Uh-huh. Um, so I started Ignite three years ago because I'd worked in a bunch of um, women's political organizations, and I could see that the changes were happening in terms of, of women's political representation, but it was, it was incremental. And I really felt like the problem was that no one was building the next generation of women political leaders. Um, a lot of really fine organizations working on adult women and trying to get them to run and win, but no one was was working on the next generation. So how do you get started? You, you go into the high schools, you go into the colleges, you actually mm -hmm. teach a class, what, a 90-minute class? Is that, how's it work? Um, yeah, we have sort of two tracks. In our high schools, we go in and it's an after-school program and it's it's uh, up to three hours a week for a group of high school students. It's year-round um, and we stay in high schools mm -hmm. forever. Um, in colleges, uh, we do shorter kind of weekend retreat trainings where we train the women how to run. Um, and in both uh, programs, we get a lot of women elected officials involved, so they meet women from their own communities who are like them who've done it. And I, you must be inspired seeing these kids and after, what, three years now, 09, is that when it started? Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, what's, what's it been like? What, what's been the response? Uh, the response has really been great. It's, it, it is, it's incredibly inspiring to see these young women who go from not really understanding how anything works, particularly at the high school level, and then um, seeing them tracking the election, tracking ballot propositions, this election. You know, so many of them were really excited about Proposition 30, what was going to happen to right. their schools and the funding for their schools. Um, seeing them, uh, I was at a high school site last week, and I walked in, and they were all on their cell phones, and I said to the teacher, what are they doing? And she said, they're calling all the parents in their school and telling them where their polling places are and oh, encouraging them to vote. Yeah, that's great. Well, it's got to make you feel good. Yeah, I got a little teary. <laughs> I, I went on YouTube, and there's actually, I don't know, about a half dozen uh, young women that are saying, you know, this is my name. I go to San Francisco State. I'd like to be senator of the state of California. Uh -huh. Some would like to be on their city council of their, uh, their local towns and such. And, uh -huh. uh, and that's the goal, really, to get these women to start being the leaders of tomorrow, right? Yeah, and to feel like they can and to understand that it's possible and you don't need 12, you know, master's degrees and, you know, you can really do this in the not wildly distant future. Why do you think, because women have come so far in the business world, especially in our business, there are more mm -hmm. women in broadcasting now than men. Oh. Why, uh, why has it taken a while, especially for the younger generation, to just kind of get motivated to go down that path? Why is, it, why is that so? Um, well, there's a lot of research on why women aren't in office at the same rates as men, and it's not because they don't win or lose at the same rates, it's because they don't run at the same rates. And so the reason why women don't run are um, threefold. One is um, perception of qualifications. Women think they're less qualified than men, even when they are objectively as qualified to, uh, to be an elected leader. Sure. Um, two is they're just not recruited as often as men are by friends, by you know people in the political world, or just friends and colleagues. Um, and three is family roles, which is a real barrier. By the time women sort of feel ready, they often have a couple kids, maybe are caring for an elder as well. Where are you based? You're based um, here in the greater Bay Area? Uh-huh. And how does a school or a college, how do they implement your programs? In other words? Um, we're <laughs> free for um, public schools. Mm -hmm. And uh, if a school is interested, they should contact us and we um, hire and train college and grad students who've been through our programs to actually implement the high school programs. So we start in the fall, and if a school's interested, they contact us, and um, we'll work with them, get the program set up, and start next year. How many kids have you had go through it? Um, in the Bay Area, we've had a couple hundred. Um, we're also in the great state of Texas, mm -hmm. um, and same size there. And by the end of this year, we will have served about 600 across both states. Give us a success story, someone that is uh, going to be a rising star. 
Um, well, a former college student of ours, um, we hired her to teach Ignite in uh, one of our high school programs. She did that a couple years ago, then she graduated, she went and got a job, um, and she is uh, going to run for her town city council in the East Bay in oh, 2014. Well. Oh, yeah. well. Well, very good. Well, thank you so much for coming in, and uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you so much. All right. If you'd like more information, you can log on to Ignite.org. Back with more Bay Sunday right after the break. Stay right there.